Hello everyone, uh, it's June here again and i um, just going to do my September favourites. Um, I've got a lot of stuff here actually uh, that I want to mention so I'm just going to plough ahead and um, not waste any time rambling like an idiot like I usually do. So um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get started. So starting with um, uh, primers, um, probably the one I've been using the most this month has been the Studio Secrets Smoothing Resurfacing Primer. So I don't know if that's called the same thing um, everywhere. I know there's one called the L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. I don't know if it's the same product, but this is the resurfacing primer. It's very like um, the Instant Smooth by Clarence, which I have as well. But this is, um, yeah, very, very nice. Uh, fills in pores very well. It's lovely just around the eyes, you know, it kind of softens the appearance of any fine lines there, uh, if you had such a thing. And um, yeah, so that's really nice. I like that. Um, for foundation then, you know, at the risk of being unbelievably boring uh, and mentioning it again, um, I've been using the Alice Fast foundation and concealer together. I've now moved on to using the S101 and the S201. That's the 201 is the concealer and the S101 is the um, foundation. So you can see it's very, very light. It's a, quite a light concealer. Light, uh, foundation now it does look a little bit dark on, or a little bit too bright on my hand but like it's a very um translucent foundation so when you blend it onto the skin it's really perfect so i mean i'll just swatch it here on my chest and you can see like it blends in very well to my skin so it's kind of perfect for my winter skin tone i love that it has a little yellow tint as well so i like that for over um red areas and of course the concealer, I've ranted and raved about this before. It's the best concealer um, I've ever used and I love that. So those two have been getting a lot of a lot of wear this month. Also then I've been using the Smashbox Hydrating, uh, the Halo, Halo Hydrating Perfecting Powder in Fair. And this one I've done a little video, I've mentioned this on a video before. Now the mirror is full of powder and it's just got this funky little uh, kind of cheese grater top on it and you just twist that and it dispenses a little bit of product into the top so you can monitor how much you're using and there's a ton of product in here it's about 20 I think it's 21 grams it's 21 grams so there's a lot in it um, this is a great powder especially with uh, the foundation I've been using which is quite a, a light coverage foundation I've just been throwing this on over it it's very hydrating gives a really gorgeous um, lit up effect uh, oh there goes the sun without um, you know without being glistening or without any shine to it um, with a nice bit of coverage as well so yeah I really like that was that was expensive it was about 40 euro or so but it was a great buy I'm you know very very glad I picked that up um, then on to eyes, I have been using, I'd say for at least 75% of this month, I've used something from the Urban Decay Book of Shadows 3, um, which I've done a video on already, and I'll just show it again quickly. I don't want to repeat myself too much, but the colors in there are just gorgeous. And when I opened this first, I thought, oh, you know, some of these colors are a little bit scary for me. I'm not afraid of using color, but you know, blues, blues and that tend to be colors I don't use very often. Um, but I've, I've done a lot of looks with these colors and because there are some really nice kind of matte dark shades in here as well, it just makes this really easy to work with. And these colors actually are very, very nice with the more neutral shades as well, like this brown, uh, this one here, Rockstar. Um, so overall the colors are very cleverly put together and I'm, I might do a couple of tutorials with this. I've worn a couple of the looks in some of the videos I've done this month. Um, but uh, yeah, I might do a few uh, tutorials to show you, read just to show you how easy it is to work with these colors that, you know, I mean, I'm not amazingly brilliant at putting on eyeshadow, but I could achieve pretty good looks with these colors 
you know, combined with some of the others, even though, um, I, you know, I wouldn't tend to use those colors a lot. There wouldn't be colors that would, you know, the rules would not suggest that I use them. But anyway, I never follow the rules. Um, also, I've been dipping into this a lot as well this month. These, this is my kind of collection of MAC eyeshadows um, in, this is my sort of neutral, cool brown palette. Um, I've got, you know, palettes with other, other color groups as well, but this is how I kind of put it together. And I've been using, oh, something's falling out there. What fell out? Actually, yeah, this is one of the ones I've been using the most. This is called Sign Sealed. It's absolutely beautiful, very intense, dark brown with a kind of a burgundy, burgundy sort of undertone. That is really gorgeous and it's completely matte. Love that. Another one I've been using a lot is this one here. And this is uh, Concrete. And Concrete is a sort of a medium brown, completely neutral, completely, you know, neutral brown. Lovely. Again, matte. And another one I've been using a lot, I'm sorry I'm sniffling a bit, I have a bit of a cold, so apologies for that, is um, this one, which is a pressed pigment, and that's Sweet Sienna. And Sweet Sienna is just amazing. Let me show you there, the swatch. It's just so shimmery and gorgeous. And it's kind of a silver with a kind of a, it's kind of like, a, almost like a duochrome with silver and gold, you know, it's, it's a really unique, gorgeous color. So I've been using that quite a bit too. And um, this one here, which is uh, Shale, is another one that I really like. Um, I'm sorry I'm dropping things all over the place today. And that's Shale there, Shale in the pan. And there it is, swatch there. Again, a sort of a, a taupe, light taupe with kind of a silver sheen to it. So that's just a few of them but they're really the ones I've been using a lot of um, those cool browns dipping into that a lot this month and loving them for um, eyeliner I have been using these two quite a bit this is a really great one it's the Revlon color stay and this is in navy I think navy yeah and this is terrific for water lining um, there it is swatch there so very easy to use. Um, it's a lovely color, quite vivid on the eye. You know, when you see it actually put on the waterline, the blue really stands out. And um, so I've been using that because I have been using a few, you know, blue, blue based looks from the Urban Decay palette. So yeah, that's really good. And it stays on the waterline quite well. And I've also been using Stubborn Brown by MAC. It's a great brown eye pencil. Um, quite an intense kind of, Again, I mean, that's tending towards a warm brown, but it's really lovely. Um, uh, it isn't waterproof. So again, that's good for the waterline. It um, goes on quite well. And one that I, I I don't have the black one here, but I was use, I've was i been using um, the Technical, Mac Technical liner in Graph Black for the waterline as well, um, which has been really great. I've been finding that the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils that come with the Book of Shadows 3 are not really great for the waterline because they are waterproof pencils and maybe it's just me. I just find them hard to get onto the waterline. They don't load on very well. Um, they are great liners, uh, but they just don't work for me on the waterline. So those, those are the ones I've been using. Then for uh, the brows, this is really great. And I had this for ages and I only rediscovered it recently. And it's a NYX. Um, auto eyebrow pencil and this one is in medium brown and you see it's a kind of a just a, a twist up sort of pencil and there's the color there I just there it is there so it's quite um, a light brown I don't like to put dark brown into my brows even though my brows are actually dark brown themselves because I find it I just I mean I end up looking like a Muppet or something I look like Bert from the, you know, from the, from Sesame Street or something, you know, really heavy brows, and I just don't like that look. So I tend to just define them with a bit of um, clear mascara 
or else just throw a bit of that through them. Uh, it actually softens, softens the look but defines at the same time if that, that makes any sense. And uh, yeah, so that's a really good pencil. It's a very nice formula, very easy to use. I'm going to look and see if they have a cooler shade in that um, to use for winter. I'm rambling again. Um, and this is uh, the mascara I've been using a lot. This is the Ico Magic Mascara, which has the most gorgeous packaging in the history of the world. Gorgeous purple and silver with little rhinestones. So that's really charming packaging. Um, but quite a good mascara uh, underlying all that. Um, the brush is a nice, very sort of um, old fashioned brush almost. You know, it's a fiber brush, um, quite long. And the formula is really nice. I find that um, it adds a lot of length. It's, it's quite good for defining. It's not the most volumizing mascara I've ever used. Um, but I think, you know, if you're going to go for a volumizing formula, I think a lot of the time you're going to get clumping. I think they kind of go hand in hand almost. Um, but certainly no clumping with this. And um, I've had that open for a while now and it has behaved itself very well after it's been opened. It hasn't started drying up on me or anything. And it was only 10 euro, so it's very reasonably priced for a product that looks looks so nice and, and actually performs very well. So I'd say maybe 7 out of 10. So pretty good, pretty good. Um, then just for lips, I have I already did a video for lips, um, mostly lip glosses and stuff. But three lipsticks that I'm using a lot at the moment as well, just to add these in, is Ladies' Choice by Benefit. Um, I love this. It's just very, very neutral nude kind of color. Um, that's lovely on the brownish side of uh, of of that of nude. And this one is uh, by Illamasqua, and it is called blank. Oh no, the name's worn off it. I'm so sorry. Oh no, I don't know what it's called. I can't think of what it's called now, but it's gorgeous. It's a lovely pink. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful rose pink. And I cannot think of the name. I'm so sorry. I must look it up. I look it up. And um, this one here is an essence lipstick and it's called Sparkling Romance. And it's lovely, iridescent. Very, very sheer. Very sheer. And it's gorgeous if you just want to throw something on. It's just going to give you a little bit of shine or sparkle, but not much color. Oh, very nice throwing lipsticks that you now you see I'm very abusive really um what else two brushes um this is great this is an Inglot um Inglot blending brush and I'll just show you how big it is I'm just going to compare it to the size of a, an of an eye pencil look at the size of that it's huge so it's beautiful multi-purpose brush extremely soft quite dense quite a full brush very very soft and amazing for under the eye for doing your powder your concealer lovely for highlighting I've even done contouring with this and it works really well um, and obviously for blending the eyes and that so that's been getting a hell of a lot of use this month it's amazing and um, Inglot brushes are very nice well worth a look and this one here which is Encore makeup it's from Encore and it's the faux fiber face brush and it's this gorgeous kind of big brush um duo fiber and i find it great for the smashbox powder i'm talking much quickly now more quickly because i'm noticing i'm running out of time so that's why i'm i'm not manic or anything well not really but um uh that's why i'm talking so quickly i want to get through this um yeah this gorgeous duo fiber brush terrific for any sort of powder but really good for the smashbox powder because it doesn't lay it on too heavily so that's terrific and then very quickly before i run out of time three nail polishes that i'm loving this week um orly and this is in pixie dust amazing gray silvery glittery gray beautiful this is moon over mumbai this is opi and this is a subtle iridescent a kind of gray white color amazing and this is a zoya shade called liz and this is terrific and i've been putting a matte finisher over this uh, essie's matte about you um over this and it's just 
gorgeous. You should try that combination. The matte, the matte finisher is terrific. So I'm going to do a proper nail polish video because I've got loads more nail polishes that I've got. And I've got some other stuff that came to me recently, which I haven't shown you yet. And um, that's really it. So I'm going to finish up really quickly and say goodbye because uh, overtime as usual. And yeah, so yeah, it's long live.